Let's next mesh the model, i.e. divide it into elements and nodes. Double click on model. That brings up Ansys Mechanical, where we'll do the meshing as well as apply the boundary conditions and get the solution and view results. So it's attaching the geometry to Ansys Mechanical and it brings up the geometry. And so if I go into geometry, and I'm going to analyze only this part, the bike crank. So let me suppress pedal. So highlight pedal in the tree, right click, suppress body. And I'm going to ignore that part too. So I'll right click and say suppress body. And we will analyze the assembly in a later exercise. And then let's throw a mesh at it. So highlight mesh in the tree. And first, let's take a look at what the default uh, mesh is. So highlight mesh in the tree and click on Update. That shows me what the default mesh is. I can zoom in using the right mouse button. And um, it looks pretty coarse, so let me throw a body sizing in. Um, so what I'll do is I'll highlight mesh in the tree and I'll say mesh control sizing. Now I can apply sizing to all different kinds of entities. In this case, I will apply it to the entire body. So make sure the body selection filter is selected. Click on the body and then come here um, and click apply. If you have a yellow box, click the yellow box and then click apply. Okay, so the sizing is going to be applied to that entire um, part and on average I want each edge of the element to be 0.2 inches. And if I highlight sizing and I come here, the, the bullseye um, the circle around the bullseye shows me what that size, um, what each element edge size will look like. And that seems reasonable for an initial mesh. So, and so let me click update. And okay, so now I have a more refined mesh. Now, for this part, actually, I can fill it with hexahedrals. And for a given level of fidelity of your solution, um, you can use fewer nodes with hexahedral elements. So let's go with that. And so I will <clears throat> go under mesh control and I'll add a method to the entire body. So click on the body, click apply, and under method, select multi zone. And, and click on Update. So if I come back to Mesh, so I see that with the multi-zone method added, um, it's been able to fill this volume with hexahedral elements, which are uh, more efficient for the same level of, of accuracy. And, um, and multi-zone basically chops the part up into volumes which it can fill with hexahedrals. Then this won't work for every part. So I'll save the project.